today we're making um, stuffed zucchini called kusa mahsha, Lebanese style. This is a recipe that my family has always made and um, let's walk you through it. I've already prepared um, so some rice and some mince. First of all you brown off the meat. Um, if it's extremely fatty, uh, sometimes you get some minced meat that's extremely fatty. I would suggest uh, draining off some of the fat but leave a little bit so that it's a bit tasty. <laughs> the fat gives it taste. Um, then we have the zucchinis. So it's always good to get zucchinis that are a bit fat. So what we're going to be doing is actually using actually I don't know what the in instrument is called but basically we're going to pick out the inside. So it needs to be fat enough so that um, and big enough so that when you are doing it, you um, don't pick out the, too much of the insides and make a hole in it. Some of the herbs that we're using, I'll actually put a complete list. So black pepper, um, salt, you don't have to use the Himalayan salt, but we're using it. Um, cooking salt is actually um, what I usually use, but I've run out of it. So cumin, um, ground, cinnamon ground. We're going to use some tomato paste and usually I have canned tomatoes, usually two cans of tomatoes that are diced. You can get the whole tomatoes in the can as well or you can use also really ripe fresh tomatoes um, chopped up. I usually get about three medium sized tomatoes and chop them up or the canned version. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is wash these um, zucchinis and chop off the end. I've just cut off the bottom um, so that sometimes you'll find that there's some bruising or like you know it doesn't look too pretty you kind of want it to look good um, so I just lightly skim off um, those sections and that's the top of the zucchini that's attached to the plant so you cut that off so as you can see there's very little waste you kind of want to keep as much as possible of the zucchini and now we're going to use this tool um, to basically poke it in here, usually I go up to about I don't know, 90% of the way through. You don't want to um, pick too much out of this top area. As you can see, it's very curved, so you might accidentally pick through it. Um, it takes practice, but it's possible <laughs> to not um, make a hole in the zucchini. So we're just going to start taking away from the middle. Um, I like to turn it around as I go and basically angle it just a little bit at a time you can kind of feel where you're going with it um, let me just change this to that one um, and just I would suggest going very slowly at first so you learn how to do this as you can see there isn't that much out of it you have to kind of shake the zucchini to get it all out but can you see that Alright, that's one down, 11 to go. I've just finished um, with the 12 zucchinis and here's the insides. We're going to reserve that later so we can add it back in. And here is our stuffing that we're going to put inside the zucchinis. This is basmati rice, um, about two cups worth. Um, I'll get the accurate um, details of the recipe. I'll put it down in the description. And also... 500 grams of mince meat um, you can either use lamb or beef traditionally it's made with lamb but um, this is beef it, it tastes nice either way your choice okay so here we've got the herbs that we're going to add this is ground black pepper this is uh, table salt this is cracked pepper um, I would suggest if you're not very um, tolerant to pepper you might want to withhold that so this is cinnamon, ground cinnamon, and this is cumin. We're just going to add it in here. So I have prepared this a bit earlier. Um, it's always good to get it to cool down just a bit so that you're not burning yourself while you're trying to stuff it into the zucchini. So just give it a bit of a mix. Just make sure it's evenly coated. Sorry camera's going everywhere I've melted two tablespoons of butter and I'm just going to add it to um, our filling 
just so it helps um, the filling attach to each other and makes our job a little bit easier and adds flavor to the dish. So I just melted it in the microwave. So because my filling is quite um, it's at room temperature almost now, um, if you've done it straight away after you've cooked it, then just put it in straight after. So just give it a good mix. So here's our zucchini. Got a bit of a wide opening on this one. So basically it's just a matter of putting the ingredients in the hole. Now normally I do this while I'm watching TV. I just sit on the couch and do it. It can be a little bit time consuming. Just catch up on your daily television. Or some Netflix stuff. So over here I've got a 6 litre saucepan. I've got about four and a half litres of warm water and I've got it on high to get it to start boiling. Here we've got um, 12 zucchinis sitting in the saucepan. Um, they're not fitting very well. So These zucchinis are a little bit bigger than what I usually get. So, so just as much as possible make sure that you can immerse them in the water. So basically we filled up the zucchinis and left about this much space so that the rice can expand um, and hopefully not blow it up, but we'll see I guess. Now we're just going to cover it mostly just to bring them to the boil. We've put our zucchinis in and I've also put 8 tablespoons of tomato paste in here and about half a teaspoon of salt now you can withhold the salt and then just taste the sauce once it's done and if you think you need to add some more salt then do so what we want to do is bring it to the boil and then turn it down low and let it simmer and let the rice cook and also the zucchini um, vegetable cook as well so finally we've got some action happening um, in here so what we're going to do is turn it down so um, we'll just put it down so it just simmers so I don't want to overboil it because then um, the rice will cook too fast and so then the inside rice will be still raw and the other one will be cooked and it's not very nice so at this stage I like to add um, some of the stuffing that we um, that we've put aside from earlier and this is uh, stuffing from about 12 of them so if you don't want to really put that much um, of the stuffing it's up to you it's to your taste this is clean we washed the zucchinis we made sure that it was handled nicely so it's not like you're putting anything that's dirty in here um, I love my veggies <laughs> and so I really like to put as much as I can in here so I'll probably end up putting hmm, maybe three quarters of it Okay, so they've been boiling for a while. I've just taken the lid off and I'm just going to check to see how ready they are. You can see this one, the rice is coming out of it. Oops. Can you see that? So what we'll do is just pick up one of them. I can tell from the skin, it hasn't fully cooked. It's very hard. So when they've actually cooked, you should be able to slice through it. So we'll just check the rice. So we've left them to boil for another five, almost ten minutes now. Um, so we'll just use the fork to just see how easy it is to pierce the skin and it looks quite good. Yep. So I'm actually going to turn it off now. Here's the finished dish um, and we're just going to cut into it with a spoon. And you can see there that the rice is quite nicely cooked. Um, the skin is quite tender as well. And the sauce is nice and tomato saucy. <laughs> um, so you can have this with Lebanese pita bread. Um, but if you don't want to overdo it on the carbs, you can always just have it straight like this. With a bit of the sauce and a bit of the zucchini to do this one-handed holding a camera <laughs> okay so as you can see that's the perfect bite
If you like this video, please subscribe, like and comment below. I'll be making more recipe videos, um, so subscribe so you don't miss out on them. If you have any questions or suggestions, I'm happy to hear it um, in the comments section. Um, I hope you have a go at this making this recipe and I'd love to hear how you went with it. Happy cooking and it's bye for now.